Hi guys, it's me your Mamja. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. For today's video, I am going to talk about face changes in mud. Of course, when the water is heated, it evaporates. So the molecules move and vibrate so quickly that they escape. And of course, the ice melts into liquid water because it has reached its melting point, the zero degree Celsius. And the third process is what we call melting or also known as 
fusion. Okay. So, phase change from a solid to a liquid state. So, the molecules of this state of this phase change is speed up, move further apart, and it is absorb it absorb heat energy or the melting process is the heat absorbing energy. Okay, next. What do you think happened to the water when it was cooled? Okay, so a decrease in temperature caused the water molecules to lose energy. So that is why the molecules slows down. So which results in water molecules that are closer together and a decrease in water volume. So when the water is heated, of course, It expands so vice versa in when the water is cooled okay freezing so freezing is also known as solidification okay. so this phase change from a liquid becomes solid so the molecules of this is slows down and move closer together and freezing or solidification is a heat releasing energy. Okay, what would happen to a solid if it was heated directly to a water vapor? Okay. So, at a given temperature, most chemical compounds and elements can possess one of the three different states of matter in different pressures. So, in this case, the transition from a solid to the gaseous state requires an intermediate liquid state. But, at temperatures below that of the triple point, a decrease in pressure will result in a phase transition directly from the solid to the gaseous state okay. and this is what we call sublimation so the phase change sublimation is the process of converting solid to a gas without even passing the liquid phase so the molecules speed up move further apart and sublimation is a heat absorbing energy and the last question here is what would happen to a solid if it was cooled okay when an object is heated the motion of particles increases as the particles become more energetic so if it is cooled the motion of the particles decreases as they lose the energy and this process is what we called deposition okay so when we say deposition in it entails the transformation of a gas to solid without even becoming a liquid so the molecules slows down move closer together and release heat energy so those are the different processes under phase changes in matter to some